So in this video we're going to talk about export settings and specifically how to maximize the quality of your videos with your Insta360 camera. It's super important to choose the right export settings if you want to upload the highest quality videos to social media or whether you just save it to your computer or whatever. Because these cameras here, I've got the Insta360 X3, super good camera, shoots at 5.7K in 360 mode, which is pretty sick. But if you choose the wrong export settings, you can end up looking like your footage just basically looks like it's been shot on a potato, like a really old camera or something. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that in this video. I'm going to show you my recommended best export settings and how you can post your videos to social media in the highest quality possible. So first of all, we'll talk about the resolution. So resolution on these cameras, you have a number of different options in here. We can choose from 5.7K, 4K and 3K. And basically that determines the number of pixels that will be in your shot. Now, when you're shooting in 360 mode on 5.7K is what I would recommend, those 5.7 thousand pixels or 5,700 pixels are spread across the whole sphere of the camera. So you're not actually getting 5.7K when you upload it and watch it on say a big TV monitor. It'll be downscaled and like it'll look like a 4K video. But what we can do is we can maximize this by using our bitrate. So bitrate is uh, an option we get when we're exporting videos and this enables us to export in, in different quality settings. So the higher the bitrate generally, the higher the quality of video. But there is a caveat with that because we can't just export our videos as high as the bitrate setting will go in say Insta360 Studio and then upload it straight to social media and expect it to be the same quality because social media platforms nowadays have a compression. So that basically means when you post a video to social media, the platform compresses the video down so much so it fits in with their like recommended settings if you like. So they obviously have servers and capacity so they want to try and keep that capacity as low as possible to maintain the social media platform's functionality so what they do is they compress your video so if you go and try and upload a 4k video to say like instagram it will crush it and compress it down so much that it'll just look like it's not going to be 4k at all but we can get around this by understanding what bitrate does and how bitrate affects the quality of our video when we upload to say social media okay so we're going to jump over to my computer now and i'm going to show you how to choose the best export settings inside Insta360 Studio so you can maximize the quality of your videos. So I've got a video on my screen here which is basically my van just driving down the road and I was hanging the camera at the window to make it look quite a little cool shot and when we finish reframing our video we want to export it. We want to click this big yellow button at the bottom here and it'll bring up a window where we can start plugging in different settings and understand what export settings mean and how we can maximize this. So we have a bitrate scale here, which goes from one or is 200. Now, I personally wouldn't just go straight to the highest bitrate setting. I would first of all ask myself the question, well, where am I gonna use the video? Because if I'm gonna use the video on say like Instagram or YouTube, they have those platforms themselves have their recommended bitrate settings. And if we download and then upload our video, in a higher bit rate than what they recommend or it's something that's way off the platforms will just automatically compress your video to fit with their recommended settings so you'll just lose a load of quality but what we can do is we can kind of optimize this and work around this so bit rate setting i personally would go if you're uploading to instagram or tiktok or something like that i probably would download and export my video in around between 25 and maybe 45 on the bitrate scale if i was uploading say youtube and it was just a single lens 4k video i probably would go more towards the 70 range 70 bit bit rate range if i was wanting to upload a 360 video i probably would go towards 100 but i probably wouldn't go over 100 because then the platform would compress my video too much i would generally stick to the encoding form of h.264 if I was uploading to social media, like Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. You can select ProRes, ProRes 422, but that like drastically increases the file size. You're gonna get a higher quality video, but if you notice here, if we, if we click ProRes 422, we, we lose the ability to choose our bitrate. So I'm, I'm assuming that the platform in 36 Studio just picks like a, a super, super high bitrate. Now, for me, for most cases, and most people watching this, I just go 2.3. 
uh, six, 2.64, .h.2.64, yeah, so that was a bit of a tongue twister. And then use the sliding scale depending on where you're gonna be uploading to. Again, if it was, say, Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or something, I probably would go between about 25 and 50 on the bitrate scale. If I was on YouTube, you'd probably know more than 100. Again, you can experiment with this, but you can see here the file size changes as well. Like if I slide it down to say 25 frames, this 10 second clip is 62 megabytes. If I go up to 200, it's like 500 megabytes. So you can see why social media platforms want to keep the size of your file as small as possible when you upload, just to maintain the, the functionality of that platform. But we can work around this, like I said. And then we would simply click on the export button and jobs are good in. So that's how I export and upload my videos to social media whilst maintaining the highest quality on my camera. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions about export settings, bitrate, upload to social media and maintain the highest quality possible and I will make a video on it or answer your question and I hope this is useful.